of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia to also pass her tribute and message of condolence. Welcome, my sister. Yeah. Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta, Excellency First Lady Margaret Kenyatta, Excellencies Heads of States present here, Your Excellency Deputy President William Ruto, the family of former President Mwai Kibaki, our Kenyan brothers and sisters. I'm here today to share the deep grief of our brothers and sisters in Kenya following the passing of uh, former President Mwai Kibaki and convey the heartfelt condolences of the people and government of Ethiopia and of my own to President Uhuru Kenyatta, his government, the bereaved family of late Mwai Kibaki, and to the people of Kenya. President Mwai Kibaki was a true friend of Ethiopia before and after assumption to the presidency, his assumption to the presidency. During his tenure, Ethiopia and Kenya made tremendous strides in elevating our long-standing relations. This was seen through the achievement that you have jointly registered both at the national and regional levels. During his tenure, our two countries signed the Special Status Agreement, laying the foundation for the Lamu Port South Sudan-Ethiopia Corridor Project, known as LAPSET, as well as the Moyale One-Stop Border Post. At the regional level, Kenya, with our regional organization, IGAD, has been very active and host of a series of Somali peace processes held here in Kenya in an effort to find a lasting peace in this sisterly country. And also in the Sudan peace talks seeking to end two decades of bloody warfare. I would also like to recognize former President Kibaki and his government's commitment to multilateralism that I have been able to witness firsthand. His support to one of the United Nations officers away from headquarters based in uh, Nairobi and uh, its first dedicated director general that I was played a big role in elevating this duty station. Following in his footstep, His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta took this commitment to a higher level. In the spirit of the remarkable ties that our two countries have built over the years, we will continue to sustain and strengthen the excellent relations that has lived to this day in order to fulfill the aspirations of our respective uh, populations. As we gather here to pay our last respect to the third president of Kenya, it should not be to mourn, but to celebrate a life dedicated to serving his nation. And it has been so eloquently expressed by previous speakers. May his soul stay in eternal peace. I thank you.